Hello guys, welcome back to Song Town. And if you're here for the first time, welcome to Song Town. It's so good to have you guys here again. In my last video, I talked about how Juju music of today has not been able to match what we used to have in the 70s, in the 80s, and in the early 90s. And I showed a few clips of, of IK Dairo, Sonny Ade, and then at the end, I mentioned Sashino Peters. So, in today's video, I'll be focusing on on Shino Peters, and I'll be talking about how his work, his music, has been underrated. Because I believe in today's Juju music, Shino Peters' style of music has the greatest influence compared to other Juju music musicians that we've ever had. Even the likes of King Sonny Ade, Commander Ibinenza Obe, IK Dairo, Dele Abiodun have not, they do not have as much influence on today's music, today's Juju music, as much as Sashino Peters. I listen to Juju musicians a lot these days, especially their live performance, because I tend to get more meat from their live performance. I mean, the musicians of today, because I listen to a lot of their albums and it's not really there. The, the production is not always there they are not expressive enough for me as much as when they are performing live. So most times I love to, to get their live performances because I really get to listen to, to what they, they can really do. You know, they tend to express themselves more on stage. So let's start with a brief history of Sashino Peters. He was born in 1958 in southwestern Nigeria, as in Ogun State. I would love to show this as I'm talking. Wikipedia is a very reliable source. I've checked other sources too and they, they, they match what we have here. So in, 19, in 1958, in southwestern Nigeria, in Ogun State, and he, of course he started music early. According to the record, he learned the piano. He taught himself how to play that. And he also learned how to play the guitar. Is a master guitarist, just like King Sonny Ade, Aike Dairo, and Commander Ibinizao. But like I said in the last video, the great musicians in Juju music that we had in those days were amazing musicians. They were amazing instrumentalists. They were masters on their instruments compared to what we have today. Shino Peter played in Ebenezer bass band and in General Prince Adekunle's band. That shows you how good he was on the guitar. Uh, you know, for someone to play in these two bands where they have, where the band leaders, you know, were really good, it shows he was really tight. Talking of his music, his work, here I also compared some of this uh, list in his discography, discography rather, <laughs> with uh, another website and they really matched. So the, the record we have here is, is accurate. His first album was Way to Freedom. I've not been able to listen to that, but from Money Power to Down to the Rest, I've listened to almost all of them. So while I was listening, I discovered that where he really started to really hit it was for me. And it's, it's my opinion. Where I think he really started to hit it was on was when he released Ace in 1989. And that was where he announced himself as... Um, I think, yeah, that was where he announced himself as the proprietor of Afro Juju, as the originator of Afro Juju. And he released Ace under CBS. 
before he went on to join Sony Music in 1992. Oh, 91, sorry. And then he went on to release more albums under Sony. And those albums, right from Ace down to uh, Dancing Time, Mr. President, Shinomania, ex oh, I, I forgot the experience. And a lot of them were hit. He was dropping hits after hit. So before I start sharing some of the similarities between Shino Peter's work and some of the Juju songs we have of today, I would love to share some of his work with you. Let's see some of his old work. Uh, we'll start with uh, Money Power. Money Power. All right, this is one of the track in Money Power. Let's see. I want to play a little from be from the beginning, then I'll skip forward because of uh, just to avoid copyright claims and all those things. Now, let me skip forward. Okay, from here to where he starts singing, started singing rather. <laughs> Someone is probably wondering, huh? Is this Shino Peter? Of course he is. You know, because really it doesn't sound like, you know, that vibey Shino Peters we <laughs> we're all used to. That energetic. No. Here is another one. Still in the same album, Money Power. Uh, let's skip forward a little. Okay, I think I'll go to the next one. Let's see, is it? Right, okay, let's try this. Let's keep forward a little. I'm trying to avoid any form of copyright claims as, as much as possible. You know, it's one of those things I face on this channel. That's why I I opened a, a, a Patreon account. So if you want to support this channel, check the link to this video. The link, sorry. <laughs> check this video description for the link to my Patreon account and also on my Patreon account, you have access to exclusive content that I'm not been that I've not been able to upload on YouTube. Exclusive, exclusive classic recordings of King Sonny Ade, and eventually I'll be uploading some of Ebenezer Obe, Ik Dairo, Sashino Peters, and so many more. So check this video description for a link to my Patreon account and become a Patreon today. <laughs> so let's continue. Looking for where he's singing. I want to hear his voice. Yeah. I think this is just an instrumental or something. Okay, this was the lady he featured in this album uh, everyone was talking about back then <laughs> you know i read some articles and everybody everybody was you know talking about about this lady 
popular lady though. <laughs> Okay, you can listen to the rest on YouTube. <laughs> I don't want this video to be too long. Let's just take a look at the next one. We'll just take a brief look at that before we, you know, we talked about the next thing. So this was Kote Mifumi, his next album after Money Power. So you, uh, there's a little, diff, a little bit of uh, of change in the in the music and the style. I want to show you guys how he progressed into Shinomania, and then from Shinomania, he just kept on riding and riding. Let's see. Okay, this is Shewele here. Uh, let me play from. I won't play from the beginning. Play from. Let's play from here. After that, he released Ace. And you can see the style is changing gradually. And then I think here he was beginning to, to understand himself better or his music much better. And he was beginning to flow much better. And then he came out with Ace, which was the bomb for me. Ace was just the bomb. It was just like when... Um, when <laughs> Yinka Yefele came out with Fufi, Fufi, no, Aspiration then. You know, it was just a game changer. So, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, I have to skip that. I don't want to play it too much. It's beginning to be more energetic and the arrangements are beginning to change, you know. And then going to, I think, Shinomania. Yes, you can feel it. The energy. Okay, I have to skip it. Now this is beginning to sound like what more of what you what we have today, you know. It's beginning to sound like you know the 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 regular uh juju that you you hear when you go to a party or a celebration or something like that here is the next album you can see the, the transformation right from the, the, the earlier albums down here. 
I'm sure you've seen a lot of similarities, especially with this last one I, I, I'm playing. I played rather. A lot of similarities with, with his music and today's Juju music. Apart from all the similarities in the percussions, the arrangements, you know, the energy level, tempo and all those things. There's also one thing that I believe Shinopita was the originator. There's this style of, of praising people that is on a one five uh, chord progression. For those of you that, uh, that understand music theory, you, you understand this better. You know, I will, I will show you here so you don't get lost with what I'm trying to say. I will show you in this uh, music here and then I'll point it out in some of the artists we have of today so you understand it. Shinopita introduced this. I'm making this claim because I have checked everywhere. I couldn't find anyone doing it earlier before him. He was. It was when he started doing it that the likes of Daya Kujore, who does something similar to uh, Shinopita's, the likes of Daily Taiwo, who does also a similar style to, to Shinopita and Daya Kujore, started following all those things. And then every other musician, the Juju musician that came after that, or most other, other musicians, let me put it that way, that came after that with using the same progression. So what progression am, am I talking about? Let's see here. I'll try to look for it here. Okay. Okay, I found it here. I think this is a better example. I will point it out here. Uh, let's see. I think uh, this is one of the musicians we have of today. He does I life and a bit of juju and gospel. Oh, nice. yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, I don't think. Let's see this guy. I'll come back to that. Okay. Okay, let's see this person here. This is Femi Sola. Yeah, that, that, this is a Nyekai Fele song though, but the progression now, the progression, the, uh, the way the music is moving is very similar to that. And you hear this a lot in when you hear me Juju music of today, when you hear artists perform today, this is one thing you hear a lot, you know. Let's play that again. Uh, where is it? So you can see some of the similarities I'm trying to point out. The fast tempo. Also, there's something DJ musicians like to do today, which they like to, you know, just say something to bring everybody to a halt at, at once. Uh, not really to a halt, to calm down the music at once. The first time I heard this in a Juju song or in a Juju album, it was in Shino Peters. I listened to Sonny Ade, Obey, uh, a lot of them that came before Shino Peters, and I didn't hear something like that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Abbas. Yes, just that thing you heard. Abbas. Abbas. So, so people use it a lot today, although in a different way, you know, they have different um, phrases that they use to, you know, command their musicians to calm down. So, you can see how influential Shino Pita has been because I believe for a man that is that that is work his music has so much influence. I think he really deserves much more praise than than he's getting today. 
So guys, let's know your thoughts about Sashino Peter's music and his work. And let's know what you think about the points I've, I've laid out in this video. And also, what you think of GG music generally in the comment section. So if you have not subscribed, hit the subscription button right now and share this video. Let people know more about GG music. Let's get people informed more about, about GG music. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.